Hello and welcome to Yan Food Times. We have lots of different snacks again and a lot of them I ate at work. The first one is a mochi with citron which I think it's like yuzu or some similar citrus fruit. The texture was really nice. It was soft but the flavor was too sweet and it lacked the tartness or slight sour from the citrus fruit. The texture of the mochi though was very soft but at the same time it gave you a bit of a pullback so it was slightly chewy. I wish it was just not as sweet. Next was Tsuki no Minamo which meant all of the moon. The wrapper said the milk used in this cookie was from Nagano. It didn't look like a perfect circle as it had bumps on the side but it was still flavorful. It was very soft and I enjoyed it. Moving on to Tokyo Galate or Galette de Roy. Sorry if my pronunciation is a little off. The packaging is adorable and super cute. I love that little character. It looks like a little puff pastry like sweet but the inside was not my favorite. The paste was an unknown flavor to me. I couldn't really pinpoint it but I know that I didn't like it and I couldn't finish it. It was just a really strange taste. I think the closest thing I've had with this flavor is like caramel but it wasn't quite something that I wanted to finish. On to a savory snack, a small curry flavored Japanese cracker. When I opened the package, the curry smell fumed out. It was actually a little spicy, but it was rich in flavor. People will recognize that it's curry for sure, and I wish there was more. It was a little sweet, but then a little kick comes in. I also got a small Azuki bean mochi. There was no brand name or anything like that. Very tiny. Not as soft as the other mochi I had, but it was pleasant. Nothing outstanding, but nothing bad about it either. The red bean part was not too sweet. Okay, I got a free sugar-free Snapple peach flavored iced tea. I remember drinking Snapple and loving it in high school, but sugar-free? Let's try. The original Snapple contained a lot of sugar and I think it is too sweet for me nowadays. The peach flavor was present and not too artificial, but it does leave an artificial sugar flavor at the end. Better than other aftertastes, but to sum it up, I'll drink another brand iced tea. Next was Universal Bakery Strawberry Belgian Waffles. It said ready to eat so it would be convenient. I like strawberries and I like waffles, but this was so-so. I think I would heat it up next time as it was quite hard and dense. The strawberry jam swirled throughout the waffle and it was present, but it was a tad too sweet as the waffle itself was sweet enough. The next snack is Nature Bakery's Fig Bar's Raspberry Flavor. I wouldn't say this is the healthiest bar if you look at the nutrition, but it had decent flavor and after eating it, you will be full if that is what you want. The filling was again too sweet for me. I ate one small piece at a time and that was good for one sitting. Next is Senbei Senbei Japanese crackers. They were so beautiful. They all had different flavors too. One was a bit spicy, one had strong black sesame, one was like shrimp, matcha, soy sauce, seaweed, and more. They were fun to eat. Some of the crackers though were a bit harder and thicker, so be prepared when you bite. Alright, last is Starbucks iced coffee dark roast unsweetened in a bottle. I picked dark because if there's a hint of sourness from the coffee, it's really hard for me to drink it all. I'm so glad this turned out delicious. It was strong and definitely black coffee, so I did add a bit of milk, but it was fragrant, golden, and bold in flavor. This was good and I would get it again if I want iced coffee, better than buying it at the store. So it seems like my sweet tooth is deteriorating, or they're actually overly sweet. <laughs> However, I'm glad that I was able to try a lot of different snacks. What are your thoughts? Please share, 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 and thank you for watching Yan Food Times.